Everybody's trying to be my Andrew. Everybody's trying to be my Andrew. Everybody's trying to be my Andrew. Andrew. Hello, gang, gang. This is not man. <laughs> Anybody noticed lately that other candidates are taking on Andrew Yang's ideas and his talking points? For example, this video right here. A lot of Americans right now are worried about how we're going to compete with China. I'm more worried about how we're going to compete with robots. Worst case scenario, we don't prepare, we don't even know what hit us, and it'll be just like what happened before with the combination of trade and automation that hit my region so hard, only it'll be worse and we'll have no excuse because we really did have a chance to see this one coming. I took a couple of clips from uh, his original video. He really didn't talk much about anything. He just talk about automation and AI and how they are displacing many many jobs. He didn't particularly have any kind of a solution for it. <laughs> Maybe he just need to vote for injury. <laughs> anyway that video was a while ago. Just yesterday I saw Biden on Late Night Show by Stephen Courbet. Here's the clip feel like they're being left behind because we're in the middle of something else going on here. Nothing to do with Donald Trump. We're in, in the middle of what I call, other people call, the fourth industrial revolution. Other people? You mean Andrew Yang, right? <laughs> is, are, is there going to be middle class where, you know, Moore's Law, the IT, the way we're walking, you know, artificial intelligence? Does he really expect me to believe that he knows what Moore's Law is? <laughs> It's not a hard thing to know, but I have a serious doubt that he knows what Moore's Law is. <laughs> Half of the things that he talked about, he got it directly from Andrew Yang. All talking points, no substance. Uh, look what's happened with all the retail jobs that got lost because of Amazon. Now people go to Amazon and so all across the country, a couple hundred thousand people lost their jobs and people are worried. Truck drivers I talked to are saying, well, you know, they're going to automate trucking. I know, and I'm not going to have a job. I'm going to be 52 years old. I'm making $80,000 a year, busting my neck. And so well, what's, the, what's the answer to that? The answer is we've got to talk to them and tell them there's ways to do this. The way we can do this is, first of all, acknowledge. My, my dad also had an expression for real. He said, Joey, I don't expect the government to solve my problem, but I expect these to understand my problem. Oh, my goodness. Even our POTUS understand the problem. That is why he got elected. Biden is not going to solve any problems. Sorry, I'm going to speed through this. So you go out and you say, look, these changes we can mold like we've done every other major technological revolution going all the way back to the cotton gin and, when we, and, the, and the, the Luddites back in England in the, in the 18, early 1800s. And what we have to do, though, is we have to let them know there's things we, for example, we have to have continuing education. Well, he gaffed there. <laughs> let me read you a book. The War on Normal People. I got this from Amazon. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and let me I bookmarked it right here. It says right here The government should provide education and retraining program to help transition workers to new jobs. <laughs> you heard that before, right? I actually got this book in audio format. I'm going to let Andrew read that portion because I'm not a very good reader. In theory, this sounds great and it makes for wonderful sound bites. In reality, studies have shown that retraining programs, as currently practiced, tend to show few, if any, benefits. The biggest recent efforts revolved around manufacturing workers over the past 15 years. One study of the Trade Adjustment Assistance, TAA, program, a federal program for displaced manufacturing workers, found that participants in the program garnered less income over a four-year time period than the control group, with older workers showing particularly little benefit. An independent analysis by Mathematica Policy Research compared TAA recipients to workers who got traditional unemployment assistance and found that TAA recipients had lower earnings than people who received regular unemployment assistance and only 37% of those who were trained for specific jobs were actually working in that profession. A similar evaluation of Michigan's No Worker Left Behind program 
found that one-third of workers did not find any work after participation in the program, not vastly lower than the 40% unemployment rate that laid-off factory workers experienced generally in another study. One laid-off Chrysler worker, Mal Steven, commented to an interviewer after completing a $4,200 course at a private training center paid for by the government, I still haven't got a job in my skill a year after finishing the course. And government-funded retraining is just a way for these little cheap schools to make money. Everybody's scamming the money. Steven, 51. I want to stop right there. Engineering is all data is in fact. Not just talking points. I would highly recommend reading this book. Uh, I like to read and also listen at the same time, so I got both. If uh, you know, if you follow, you want to follow Andrew Yang, I think you ought to read this book. It really helps understand all the data and facts. Yeah, as an Andrew Yang followers, we need to stay away from talking points ourselves. One thing that I'm happy about on all these uh, other candidates following Andrew Yang is that they are getting the discussion out there. And who has done that? Which candidate has done that? UBI, automation, AI, not climate. Anyway, finally, uh, have you guys noticed? <laughs> let me. Have you guys noticed uh, this picture right here? No tie and a cap. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Andrew Yang.